Welcome to a Halloween ideas. <laughs> yes. Okay, it's time to get serious. Teeth are critical to a good aesthetic. We all know what old people teeth look like or bad teeth. To my British friends, I'm sorry, British teeth. They don't look as good when you smile, but they also don't look as good with your mouth closed. Think about when you're a kid. I personally had an underbite. So my lower lip was in front of the upper. If someone has a very large overbite, that's gonna be in front. And over time, as we age, the whole structure falls apart. I've mentioned before that women start losing bone in our 20s, men about 10 years later. As the bone goes, so do the teeth that are held into the bone. The gums recede. The whole area loses volume even below the fat. Think about a tent being held up by poles. What happens when you take those poles away? The fabric of the tent falls in. One of the reasons we start developing a frown at the ends of the mouth is because everything is falling downward and inward. The upper lip is folding over and the skin of the upper cutaneous lip, this skin over the lip is folding over and everything's falling in. Think about a smile. When we're younger, usually the teeth fill the smile. As we age and smile, you may start seeing a triangle of black on each side of emptiness because the whole area of the teeth is narrowing. How do we address that? Well, from the outside in, we use filler to give more support to this skin here, here, here to hold it in place. Now, what can your dentist do for you? He or she may recommend orthodontic work. What are some other options? Well, you can improve and build up individual teeth, or you can jump all in like I did and try to address the empty spaces, the receding gums and everything in one and start with a whole new set. Yep. I have upper and lower veneers. Just as with your cosmetic dermatologist, find a cosmetic dentist who has a good eye and good hands. You'll notice that my teeth don't look like chiclets. They have a natural shape similar to the shape that I've had, sort of rounded. Also, just as I may put different amounts of filler on one side or another, these are built up in some areas versus others to where I needed more width. That happens when the dentist builds the molds and sends those to the people who make the veneers. Finally, the color. That's less of a structural issue, but it's definitely an aesthetic one. Don't assume that whiter is always better. The color needs to go with your skin tone. For me, being a lighter person, I could go a little whiter. But if my skin were darker, this color might look unnatural. So really work with your dentist to figure out what works best. And don't forget, we generally do not want to do fillers around the same time as you're getting any major dental work. Getting dental work, even a dental cleaning, can put bacteria into the bloodstream that could cause a problem later on and complications with your fillers. So plan the timing with your cosmetic dermatologist. That's my ideas for Halloween all about teeth. Keep smiling.